You're listening to the Focused and Fearless podcast. I'm your host, Heather Angel, and I've been helping people tune in to what lights them up and increase their personal and professional performance for over a decade. Now I'm best known as a high performance coach helping entrepreneurs like you cut through the noise and create a business and life on your terms. If you're ready to step out of struggle and discover how simple it can be to create a fulfilling, joyful and successful business without all the overwhelm and long hours, you're in the right place. Hey gorgeous, I hope you've had a lovely, lovely weekend. I am making this a really short episode today. I know we've had some really long um, interview episodes recently, which have been lovely to do. But there's something I really want to share with you. Um, Almost as a bit of a heads up, a bit of a public service announcement, if you like, a little bit of a warning, just something for you to be aware of, as we seem to be going into launch season. So I know many of you are uh, online business owners that listen to this. So if you are on the Instagram and you've been following other coaches, mentors, course creators, everyone seems to be launching at the moment and it's going to just increase over the next few months as we are full on into launch season. And the little sort of heads up I want to give you is about affiliates. Now, being an affiliate, just in case you're not familiar with what that is, all an affiliate is, is someone who will promote somebody else's course or program and if people, if their audience sign up through their link, they will get some kind of commission or payment for bringing a new student into that course. Now, being an affiliate is amazing. I've been an affiliate. I am currently an affiliate for Kajabi because I love it. It's the, the platform I use for my courses and programs, my uh, you know my website, everything. So I'm an affiliate for Kajabi. And when people sign up to Kajabi through my link, I get a small commission um, for every month that they remain a Kajabi customer. So it's great. It's another little income stream. And I really think affiliate um, work is a great thing to have as another income stream if that's something you want to be interested in. However, I want to share something that happened over the last couple of weeks, which has really bothered me. And I didn't know whether I was going to share it or not, but I think it's really important for you to be aware who you're buying from and just making sure you're doing your due diligence to make sure that you are not being lied to, actually, and you're being treated with the respect that you deserve by the people that you follow. Now, the reason I'm sharing this is uh, in a couple of weeks ago, I was approached by um, an entrepreneur who I really respect, actually. I really, really um, respect his work. I've heard very, very good things about the programs he creates. And I was approached by one of his team to ask if I'd be an affiliate for his program. He's got a launch coming up in the next couple of months. Now, the reason I was approached is because I have had very successful launches as an affiliate in the last couple of years. And, you know, he found out about that. Now, I think, to be fair, there's a little GDPR issue going on there because I don't know how he found out about that. But that aside, um, it was very nice to be asked, but I'd never done his program. Never done it. I've never done his courses, never done his program, never worked with him. So I went back to his team member and said, thank you very much, it's very kind of you. But my answer is no, because I only promote things that I have had personal experience and results from. So no, but thank you very much. I thought that would be the end of it. I thought that was just a very, surely no one is gonna promote something that they cannot speak from the heart to say that they've had results from. Oh no, <laughs> I received an email back going, don't worry, you don't need to have done the program. You can still promote it. It's absolutely fine. I can talk you through it. Like, literally, I was lost for words. I couldn't even believe that this was a thing. And it really wound me up, actually, because even though I still don't think any less of the entrepreneur in question and and his course and and programme, because, like I said, I do know people that have done it and I do know people that have had great results from it, it really wound me up because... You, in my opinion, you should never promote something to your audience that you cannot hand on heart say you have had results from or you have experienced yourself. Because how can you do that? You've got an audience that are following you and I don't care whether your audience is 10 people following you on Instagram or 10,000. It doesn't matter. If they trust you and they are following you and they listen to what you say, how can you possibly promote something that you have not even been through yourself. I just, 
I find it unbelievable. I would never ever promote a course or a membership or a program or a coach or anything that I haven't had amazing results from, that I haven't had actually experienced and walked through myself because that's just lying <laughs> to your audience, I think. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's the right way to be an affiliate. And I think it's really important whether you are considering purchasing a course through an affiliate or whether you are thinking of being an affiliate yourself, remember that your integrity must always come first. You have got to be able to sleep at night, quite frankly. You've got to be able to be honest with your audience because your reputation is more important than cash in the bank, okay? I could have easily, I'm, I'm a good affiliate and I'm a good at selling and I know that this entrepreneur is, is great at what he does. I could have easily just quickly been given the, the rundown of what this program is and I could have been an affiliate and I could have had maybe an extra 10 grand uh, next month or in a couple of months whenever he was launching. And that would have been easy money for me because you don't really have to do an awful lot but that's just wrong. Don't ever, ever put profit or money before your values and integrity because your reputation can just be ruined immediately if you do that. And it's just not worth it. It takes, you know, we, we are in a amazing time in business in, in many, many ways because there are so many people realizing that they can take their life in, you know, their own hands and do it what they want with their life and create a business that they want to do and, and take it online. So there are more and more people coming into the online space. Your reputation is so important. You have got to be honest with your audience, got to take care of them. Because, you know, a lot of these programs, they're thousands of dollars, they're thousands, you know, thousands of pounds to do these programs. And if people have bought them through you trusting you, that you're giving them this amazing advice that this program is gonna work for them, that this program is actually going to help them, and actually they purchase it and find out you've never even done it before, I just, I, it, it makes me feel a bit sick, to be honest. I think it's a terrible thing to do. I'm being, you know, I know there's maybe gonna be some of you listening to this going, no, I don't agree. Fine, that's on you. But in my opinion, you have always got to put integrity before your profit margins. If it goes against your values, for God's sake, don't do it. And so if you're looking at buying from an affiliate, which I have to say is honestly, it's one of the best ways because you normally get a load of extra bonuses, you get extra support. When I've been an affiliate before, I've given people group coaching, I've given them extra bonuses, um, live events, there's been all kinds of things I've given them as extras. So it's actually a really great idea to buy through an affiliate, but do your due diligence. Make sure that this person has actually been through the program, has actually used the products because if they haven't, how can they honestly tell you that it's any good? How can they honestly guide you as to whether it's gonna be the right thing for you? They can't. They can't at all because they don't know enough about it. They haven't actually walked through this program or this course or used the product. We see it unfortunately, you know, we've seen it in the press before so often with uh, these ill-informed influencers who, you know, start off as Instagram influencers and they're promoting supplements or luggage or handbags or fitness equipment and they've never used the stuff. You know, how again, how could you recommend a supplement that you've never taken before? If you follow me on Instagram, you know I will recommend, if I try something or use something and I think it's amazing, I will share that information freely, whether I'm an affiliate or not, because I think some things are just amazing and more people need to know about it. Athletic Greens is one of those things. I'm not an affiliate for it, but it's the most amazing supplement. It's completely transformed my energy levels and I tell all of my clients about it. I'm not an affiliate. I just like sharing really, really good stuff. So make sure if you're gonna buy a course or a program or a product, whatever it is, through an affiliate, just do your background checks, my lovely, please, because apparently there's people promoting stuff out there that they've never even used before. And it's really wrong. And in the coaching industry, and we're probably going to go off a bit of a tangent here, but the coaching industry, quite honestly, is making me a little bit sick at the moment because there are a lot of people making big, big claims, big, big promises. Some of them are just barefaced lying. You have really got to be careful. 
some of them are just barefaced lying and some are just hyping they're just really good marketers and actually they're not providing you with coaching they couldn't really care less about the results you get they just want to talk about their big six figure or seven figure launches so you know be careful be careful you know buyer aware (laughs) you've got to be aware of who you're buying from and making sure that actually if you are buying from an affiliate check the bonuses that they're going to give you make sure everything's you know what you want but make sure they've actually done the program okay and they're being honest with you so that's my little well it's a bit of a rant really to quite honestly (laughs) but it's really really important the online space is full of such incredible heart-centered caring people who really want to do an amazing job but unfortunately there are a lot of people who often shout louder who might not necessarily have your best interests at heart so always consider that when you are purchasing a new program make sure you're not getting swept up in the FOMO in the launch craziness you know make sure that actually whatever you're purchasing is going to be something that you need and can benefit from and is going to actually serve your highest good and is going to really help your business so that's my little uh, public service announcement for today nice short episode for you so if you want to be an affiliate by the way and you're not quite sure how that would work or best ways of going about that do get in touch you can always dm me on instagram i'm at heather angel coaching send me a dm i would be more than happy to just sort of send you a voice note give you a bit more information on affiliate marketing because it is a great way of having another income stream if there's something that you can promote that you've used that you love and you know your audience would really really benefit from it so that is my little uh, podcast episode for today i hope you have the most amazing week if you're here in the uk we've had the most beautiful sunny days for the last few uh, few days which is just up to the mood I feel I feel like everyone is just feeling a little bit more optimistic potentially coming out of lockdown eventually in a few months the sun is shining all is good in the world (laughs) so I wish you a very very good week and if you need anything I'm on Instagram at Heather Angel Coaching take care my lovelies thank you for listening to the Focused and Fearless podcast If you'd like to continue the conversation or have a question that you would like answered in an upcoming episode, head over to Instagram and connect with me at Heather Angel Coaching. If you enjoy this podcast, please share your thoughts in a review on iTunes. I truly value your feedback and I take the time to read every single review. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you in the next episode.